when we talk about starting businesses, uh, we think about manifest before we start a business, right? We come up with these great ideas of what we want to create, whether it's product, whether it's service. We first started like, where am I going to get the capital to do it? I started a business that if I had to think about it, it would have at least at minimum at that time of what I had would have cost me, I would have needed at least $1 million to start that business. So if you're wondering what type of business is that, it's a yacht rental business. Yacht or boat rental business, right? So yachts are very expensive. I don't know if you got, any of you guys are boat owners. You can relate to this, right? It's just like they call, a boat is like a money pit, right? You're just throwing money on the fire. That's, that's what happens when you buy a boat or when you buy a yacht. So that was the business that I started. But if I was going to, if you asked me like uh, maybe eight years ago about starting that business, I would have stopped you from saying, yo, that's crazy. I'm not interested in doing this because I knew I didn't have the capacity in terms of, you know, funding or in terms of money to, to get started. How did I get, how did I make it happen, right? How did I get started in a business that could have required me to have at least a million dollars for what I was doing at the time to get it started. I did it because of skill. I learned several skills that led me to be in the business that I'm in today. Without, in the beginning, of course, I didn't have to spend any money to be where I'm, but to be moving forward later on in the process, once I start like, you know, of course, making money out of the business, had to reinvest and grow the business. That's when, you know, I actually started putting in money into the business. By the actual first two years of the business, I had put in zero dollars. The only time that I put it into that business was my time and my skills and networking. That's what got me into the business. So, well, so back to the thing that I'm trying to, it sounds so crazy or so ridiculous when somebody comes up to you and say like, you don't need money to start a business. I used to think that too, right? I remember when I always knew that I wanted to start a business, right? So when I was thinking of like, how, how do I start business? How do I do this? How do I do this? So you know what, what everybody does? You go to, you, I, I went to YouTube, I'm reading around, I'm like, oh, I have this great idea. How can I make it happen? How can I build this? How can I do this? The thing that usually used to stick out to me, which is like crazy, is like, you don't need any money to start a business. I'm like, what do you mean you don't need any money to start the business? How is that possible? This is crazy. <laughs> you know, so I, I, when people say, when I was reading this, you know, when you keep on reading and reading things, some things become re repetitive, right? They're repeating the same thing. You don't need money, you don't need money, you don't need money, you don't need money. And I'm looking at this people, I'm like, you know, they're just writing for the purpose of writing or somebody just recording a video or saying it on YouTube for the purpose of like saying it on YouTube or like, you know, whatever, podcast or whatever. So that's what I thought until I became an, you know, when I started my first business, which is a marketing business, made zero dollars from it, you know, I started with no money at all. I was just a person that was really interested in marketing and branding at the time I was in college, you know, studying business. So I was like, I really like, you know, I really, I was into like taking something that people don't think it's important and putting out, out on the light. And then people figure out like, oh, this thing is kind of cool. Now they're interested in it, right? I was more like persuading people to buy something. I was very pretty much interested in, in all of my sales and marketing. I was just naturally like, you know, interested in doing all of that. So that's why I started my marketing company. So when I did my marketing company, it was a hassle, man. So we did a lot of different things. I was doing a lot of different things, trying to figure this thing out. Was I the best at it? Not really. Was I good at it? Maybe I was, but not the best. But so that, that was one of those businesses where like, I wasn't really making any money, but I was learning, you know, about a lot of things about, you know, I just, you know, I just learned about marketing and understanding product and sales and services. That's, that was the main thing that I really learned from, from that business. And, you know, for one of the other things that I just uh, read recently, I think, I, don't, I forgot who said it. They say that you don't make money from your first business. That's where you do all the learning. So most of you guys, you're going to start your own business. Some, of course, some people, uh, you know, some people get lucky and they, 
get to become multi-millionaires from their first venture or to make tons and tons of money from their first venture. It happens. But for most part, it's just like uh, the first business that you're going to create, that's where you do all the learning, which is with me with the, with the marketing business. So I, I was doing all the learning and trying to figure out how, like, you know, how everything operates. But for, for the most part of it, some of the things that I do not understand when in my first business is that when I was dealing with clients, when I was trying to get new customers, uh, I didn't understand the aspect of adding value, right? So everybody adding value, like every aspect or interaction that I had with somebody is like, what can I get out of them? Instead of like, what can I give to them? What can I give? So I wasn't very successful in that business. So as I said, I did a lot of learning from that business, right? So move forward, I got into the less entertainment business, you know, uh, because uh, there was a guy that was doing it. I was like, man, I, I think I pretty much can work with this guy and try to help him accomplish uh, this thing he was trying to accomplish. He was, really, he was in entertainment for 10 years, but he wasn't really making any progress because he wasn't really marketing himself so well in the business of what he was doing. So I got in and I started doing all his marketing and, you know, all of those things. And, you know, I started seeing traffic and all of that. So, you know, did very well. And, you know, actually learned sales from there, you know, uh, adding value and getting everybody together. So I understand building communities just from, from, from that business, right? So that, that's what I understood from that. So whilst working on that business, met another guy who was into Bolton, yet, yet rental, you know, just out and about with the business and like, you know, I actually wanted to do something with him in regards to entertainment. And then he introduced me to, 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 to yachts and, you know, all of this and, you know, and I was like, oh, he, was, he had just bought into another business as well too. And then he invited me to work with him because he saw so much value that I was willing to give 